Okay, over here to the right, we have the graph of this implicitly defined function, which is this green curve right here. And here's proof that the point 0.18 is on that graph. And you could confirm that by putting 1 in for x and 8 in for y and seeing that you do get 12 over here. Uh, I actually wrote the equation of the tangent line using point slope. And so this is the slope of the tangent line right here, negative 8. The question is, how did I get that using implicit differentiation? So I first wrote the square roots as uh, the radicand raised to the 1 half power, took the derivative, 1 half times 8x plus y to the minus 1 half times the derivative of the inside chain rule will be 8 plus y prime. Same thing over here. But when I take the derivative of the inside using the chain rule, I have to use the product rule because this is the product of two functions. And over here or down here, I rewrote the minus one halves as radicals in the denominator. Now the question is, what do you do at this point? Normally when you're doing implicit differentiation, you want to solve for y prime right now so you have a formula for the first derivative. But we only want the slope of the tangent line at a particular point, the point 0.18. So we can, we don't have to go through that process of solving for y prime, which would be pretty tedious for this problem. We can just substitute 1 for x and 8 for y, and then solve for y prime. So that looks something like this 8 plus y prime over. 2 times the square root of, if I put 1 in for x, I get 8 plus 8, 16. Here I get 8 times 1 is 8y prime, plus if I put 8 in for y, I get 64 for that term. And down below I get 2 times the square root of, 8 times 1 times 8 is 64 and I still have a zero on the right. So while I'm at it, I'm just going to, 2 times the square root of 16 is going to be an 8. And 2 times the square root of 64 is going to be 2 times 8, or 16. So to solve for y prime, let's clear the equation of fractions by multiplying every term by 2. So if you picture multiplying everything by, by 16, I should say. 8 goes into 16 twice. 2 times that numerator is 16 plus 2y prime. Over here, we're multiplying by 16, so the 16s cancel out. We get 8y prime plus 64. 16 times a 0 is still 16. And I think you can see where this is headed. 10y prime equals minus 16 minus 64 on the right is minus 80. y prime equals negative 8. That's the slope of the tangent line at the point 1, 8. Uh, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, uh, post a comment.